Here are nine of history's creepiest cursed artifacts. Although they're lifeless, they'll still bring chills up your spine. Number 9. The Dibuk Box In Jewish folklore, there is believed to exist Dibuks, malicious spirits that are the dislocated souls of dead people. In 2004, a man named Kevin Manis auctioned a wine cabinet he referred to as the Dibuk Box, which he described as containing the evil spirit that has wreaked havoc to the box's previous owners. Manis, who owned a small antique shop in Portland, claimed that he bought the box at an estate sale in 2003. It was once owned by a Jewish Holocaust survivor named Havala, who purchased it in Spain before moving to the United States. Havala's granddaughter told Manis that they did not want the box, and that they had always kept it shut out of fear of the Dubuk living inside. The box had since been in the possession of numerous owners, all having experienced strange phenomena. Manis himself claimed he experienced horrific nightmares shared by other previous owners, and his mother suffered a stroke the day he presented the box to her as a birthday present. The box became the inspiration for Sam Raimi's 2012 film, The Possession. Number 8. Maori Warrior Masks the Maoris are the indigenous people of modern-day New Zealand and are known for their fierceness. They loved to taunt and scare their enemies and carved out scary-looking masks to wear in battle. They believe that when killed in battle, a warrior spirit will remain within the mask. A Wellington-based museum that houses these masks has imposed a rather strange rule for visitors. Any pregnant and menstruating women are to stay away from their tour of sacred Maori artifacts or risk incurring a curse. The museum stated that this was done following demands by Maori tribes who provided the items in the first place. According to Maori tradition, just like their artifacts, menstruating and pregnant women are considered taboo. This means that when they come into contact, a curse could be invoked. Number 7. Pompeii Artifacts the ancient Roman town of Pompeii was destroyed in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius nearly 2,000 years ago. The eruption not only destroyed the city, but also killed thousands of its inhabitants, burying them under tons of volcanic ash. Today, the site has become a popular tourist attraction in modern-day Naples in Italy. But it seems like the Roman gods are not done with Pompeii, as tourists who pilfer the site are also punished. Among the thousands who visit the ruins every year, there are those who go home with a little more than just memories. They take some of the relics themselves. However, many tourists who have slipped pieces of Pompeii's archaeological remains in their pockets have come to regret their actions, claiming the items are cursed. According to Pompeii's archaeological super Superintendent Massimo Osana, he has received up to 100 packages from around the world containing stolen items from the site, accompanied by letters claiming that they brought bad luck. A man from Latin America wrote saying that his family faced trauma after trauma after he took a stone from Pompeii. In another instance, five packages had been sent from Spain, including a bronze statue which had been gone for over a decade, accompanied with a letter from a man complaining it had cursed his entire family. Number 6. The Hope Diamond The Hope Diamond is one of the most famous jewels in the world. Its exceptionally rare blue color and large size awes anyone who looks at it and has ownership records dating back almost 400 years. According to some early accounts, the diamond was originally an eye of a sculpted statue of the goddess Sita that resided in a temple in India. Legend has it that the statue's eye was stolen, and the temple priest then laid a curse on whoever was in possession of the missing gemstone. The curse proved to work a bit too well, as anyone even remotely linked to the Hope Diamond would end up suffering misfortunes. Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, the 17th century merchant who brought it from India to France, died during his travels. The French royal family held it for over 100 years, with King Louis XVI being the last to hold it. He ended up with his head chopped off at the guillotine, along with his family members during the French Revolution. The legend continues with many other wealthy owners and diamond dealers who suffered diseases, murders, suicides, and mental illnesses after coming into contact with the diamond. The Hope Diamond currently resides in the Smithsonian Museum, and the curse is said to have gone dormant after its acquisition by the nonprofit National Museum. Number 5. Gettysburg Rocks 
The Battle of Gettysburg, fought in 1863, had the largest number of casualties of the entire American Civil War. It is considered the most costly battle in American history, with casualties from both sides reaching up to 50,000 soldiers in the intense three-day battle. Today, the battlefield is well preserved and maintained by the U.S. National Park Service and receives many visitors every year. Every now and then, the park would receive envelopes or packages containing rocks and notes from previous visitors. In each letter, the sender would usually apologize about taking the rocks from Gettysburg and wanting to return them as they believed them to be cursed. One letter from a man read that after taking several stones from the site, he got injured on the job, went through several surgeries, relationship failures, and other misfortunes. Another man wrote saying that he lost his house, spent nine years behind bars, and had his wife leave him. Gettysburg now warns its visitors from attempting theft at their park, saying, don't take our rocks, unless, of course, you want to be cursed. Number 4. Utsi the Iceman In September 1991, a frozen mummy was found in a glacier in the Utstel Alps at the border between Austria and Italy. Utsi the Iceman, as he was nicknamed, lived more than 5,000 years ago and is Europe's oldest known naturally preserved human corpse, offering valuable information for researchers and scientists studying him. But over the years, many people connected to the discovery and research of the Iceman have died under mysterious and violent circumstances, prompting allegations of an Utsi mummy curse. This includes co-discoverer Helmut Simon, who went missing while on a hike in the Austrian Alps in 2004. His remains were found days later, believed to have plunged 100 meters down to his death in an accident. Conrad Spindler, who was head of the Iceman investigation team, followed a few months later, dying due to complications arising from multiple sclerosis. Other victims include Dr. Rainer Hinn, a forensic expert who laid the mummy in a body bag with his bare hands and who died in a traffic accident while on his way to a conference to discuss about the important discovery. Kurt Fritz, a mountain guide who organized the mummy's transport by helicopter, died in the mountains he knew so well from a snow avalanche. There was also Rainer Hoels, a journalist who filmed the Iceman's recovery who died from a brain tumor. Number 3. The Kohenor Diamond Kohinoor, which translates as Mountain of Light in Persian, is a 105 carat diamond, one of the largest and most well known in the world. Originating from India, it has belonged to various rulers, among them Hindu, Mughal, Afghan, and Sikh, before finally ending up in the hands of the British monarch. The large gemstone has been fought over and seized time and time again in many wars for hundreds of years. But owning the Koronor comes with the price of a terrifying curse. An old Hindu text from the time of the diamond's first authenticated appearance in the early 14th century reads, He who owns this diamond will own the world, but will also know all its misfortunes. Only God or a woman can wear it with impunity. True to those words, all male possessors of the diamond have suffered terrible luck. Nadir Shah, the Persian king who obtained the diamond after seizing Indian territories in the 1700s, suffered terrible health and was later stabbed to death by his own bodyguard. The diamond would eventually fall into the hands of the rulers of the Sikh Empire. The empire was short-lived, surviving only 50 years with many of its rulers falling ill, dethroned, murdered, and dying violent deaths before being defeated by the British. The diamond was sent to Britain and a cholera outbreak occurred on the ship that carried it. The the British royal family was obviously aware of the diamond's curse, and when the coronor came into their possession during the reign of Queen Victoria, it has only been passed down to female rulers and the wives of male rulers. Number 2. The Terracotta Army The Terracotta soldiers are without a doubt the most impressive collection of human sculptures in the world, with over 8,000 soldiers and 600 horses depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of a unified China. But for the locals who first discovered the statues, the Terracotta Army has brought them nothing but despair. In 1974, seven local farmers in Ling Tong District of Shanxi Province unearthed terracotta figures while digging a water well close to the Qin Emperor's tomb mound nearby. The discovery led to further investigations by Chinese archaeologists, and they soon revealed the largest ever pottery figurine group in the country. The discovery brought riches to China, but not for the farmers. They had their lands taken away and their homes destroyed in order to make way for archaeological purposes. Not just the men, but the whole village was ruined financially. Many fell ill, could not afford health care, and were riddled with debts. 
three of the farmers died at a relatively young age, one from suicide. Many blame the Chinese government for the fate of these men, but some believe the terracotta army itself is cursed. Number 1. The Tomb of Tutankhamun You've probably heard of the terrifying curse of King Tut's tomb, even if you're not much into Egyptology. 1923 remains an important date in the field of archaeology and the study of ancient Egypt when Howard Carter and his team opened the untouched tomb of the Egyptian pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, Tutankhamun. Unlike other tombs in Egypt's Valley of the Kings, King Tut's tomb had never been raided by tomb robbers and was still packed full of priceless treasures. Unfortunately, the discovery came with a price, a curse that fell upon every member of the archaeological team. It started with the expedition's main sponsor and financial backer, Lord Carnarvon. He died less than two months after the tomb was opened due to an infection when he accidentally shaved the mosquito bite on his face. Seven years later, and the body count of those linked to the tomb's discovery had risen to seven, all dying of unnatural causes. By 1935, that number had climbed to a whopping 21. Howard Carter himself passed away in 1939 due to Hodgkin's lymphoma. 